Hi, it's Sam for another Math Easy Solution. Turn to discuss uh, just a quick video on a very useful example on logarithmic differentiation. Now, basically, I went over logarithmic differentiation in my earlier video a while ago, but then I thought I might as well do another example on it. But so, if you want to learn more about that, make sure to watch the, uh, it, the videos related in the video links below. So now this is the example I want to go over. Let's say we have function y equals x to the power of square root of x, and we want to find the derivative y prime. Well, this one doesn't become clear how to solve this because we don't really have any rules for for uh, solving a power rule, but where there's a function in the power there. But using logarithmic differentiation, what we could do is actually a log both sides. I'll do actually two solutions. I'll show you an even better uh, way than I'm going to do right now. Solution one is using logarithmic differentiation. And this one would be, well, we just lawn both sides. This is just natural log using log base e, the number e. Just make, if you want to learn more about this, look in the video links below. So we have lawn y. So we're doing this on both sides. And then lawn of x to the power of uh, this one, x right there. And now using uh, log rules or natural log rules, the same thing. Uh, this part right here would go down. So this, the idea of this is using is to do this, and we, so we could simplify the function. So this is the same thing as square root of x times ln of x uh, right there, and then this one's gonna be ln of y. So now we apply the derivative using implicit differentiation. So we can just take the der derivative of this one, and we know the derivative of ln uh, d ln x over dx. This one is equals to one over x. See so proof of this in the video link below as well. So now this one we just use this would be one over y, and now using chain rule we always have to use chain rule. The derivative of y is just y prime. So this would equal to now using product rule. So there's a lot of rules. See all those in the video links below that I cover right now. So derivative of square root of x using product rule is basically one over two square root of x. I'll just do a quick uh, proof of this. I usually do this. Uh, my video square root of x dx. This is equals to uh, dx. This is going to be uh, one over two. It's the same thing as writing it as this, and this would equal to well using power one over two x minus one on the top negative one over two, and this equals to one over two square root of x. So that's just a quick one there. And now we have this part, and now we multiply it by well ln of x, and now we add square root of x times derivative of ln of x using our product rule and that's going to be divided by x or just going to be 1 over x. I'll put this in bracket as well. So we have this part right here. So now we just simplify for this y prime. So y prime is equal to well y times this by we could uh, simplify this a bit ln of x over 2 square root of x and this one here this is the same thing as writing well x 1 over 2 x this is the power of 2 over 2 is the same thing as x to the power of 1, just so we could subtract the powers. So we subtract on the bottom here. So we'll have 1, x, 1 over 2, and this equals to 1 over square root of x. So we have plus 1 over square root of x, and now we know our y, our y is just x to the power of square root of x. So it's, 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 it's pretty complicated here. x power of square root of x times this by, now we could have a common denominator, multiplied 2 and 2 here. So we could just add these up. So we'll just have ln x plus 2 divided by 2 squared of x. So this is our answer. It's, so, it's, so, we, so we were able to get it using logarithmic differentiation and implicit differentiation together. But there's a lot of rules that I just showed there. And that basically, uh, it, we got it. But it's, it's a bit complicated. So now the solution to actually is pretty uh, ingenious. Actually, my calculus book has it. So if we have y equals x squared of x. So what we could do is use the property of uh, e ln of x. This just equals to, well, this, this is another proper log property. This would just equal to, well, x. So we could use this property inside here. So we could write this as e to the ln x, yeah, ln x to the power of or square root of x. Uh, so this is the same thing as then we get basically these are just powers so we can just write square root of x ln of x. You can see uh, my earlier videos on log properties to see why this is so. So we have this part right here. So now we could take derivative. So now if once we simplify this now we can take derivative because we know derivative of e to the any or any exponential function. 
So y prime would equal to, well, just this itself, e uh, square root of x, ln of x. And now we multiply by the product rule right here. And that is, well, we could, you know, I'll, I'll just go over it right there. So this is going to be, again, using product rule, 1 over square, 1 over 2 square root of x times it by ln of x, the same thing as we did earlier. And now plus, this is square root of x over x right here. So we have this part. This is the exact same thing. And remember, this one is just our y. So we could write this down as x square root of x. Yeah, x times square root of x. And now using uh, this would be 1 divided by x squared, I mean square root of x. And then using common denominator, exact same thing as we did above. We'll just get ln of x plus 2 all over square root of x, uh, 2 square root of x. So this is a really quick way. It's the exact same thing as we did here, but we had to. Yeah, basically we avoided using implicit differentiation. So as you can see, this is a much simpler way. We get this answer. Just using this ingenious uh, log property in this uh, derivative. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to go over that. Actually, just one more thing. As a check of the work, uh, usually uh, uh, you, you should graph it out just to see that it works. So if you graph this out using Google Graph Calculator, the, the blue is our y, and this is our derivative right here. As you can see, it, it makes sense right here. Square root of x can't be negative, so basically we can't have any negative numbers in here. So we'll have it at 0 is only defined from 0 and forward. So as you can see, the derivative of this one is going to be, well, negative infinity here because it's a steep down, and that's our negative infinity. And then as you are slowly going back up, this the derivative is getting smaller the absolute value until it gets to zero at the horizontal uh, tangent right here that's correlates to zero and then as the y is increasing so is our derivative increasing upwards and this is a good check of our work anyways that's all for today and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and remember you can download these exact notes in the dropbox link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution